Let's turn back to the District of Columbia, which is suing far-right groups, Proud Boys, and the Oath Keepers for their roles in planning and carrying out the January 6th attack on the Capitol. The complaint filed yesterday, D.C. Attorney General Carl Racine says the groups conspired to overturn the results of the 2020 election in a, quote, coordinated act of domestic terrorism. Joining us now is the Attorney General of the District of Columbia, Carl Racine. Mr. Racine, thank you for being with us this morning. So lay out a little bit what you see, what you say in this lawsuit and what charges may be brought up here? Sure. A lot of work went into the lawsuit. I want to thank my partners first, uh, the Anti-Defamation League and uh, States United uh, for helping us really put all the facts together. Here's what we allege. We allege that the Proud Boys, the Oath Keepers, and over 30 individuals planned, organized, and participated in domestic terrorism at the United States Capitol. That harm injured the District of Columbia injured District of Columbia police officers who absolutely re repelled the attack on the Capitol. We're seeking restitution, financial penalties, and our goal is to put these folks out of business. Elise Jordan. Who are the most prominent members of the Proud Boys who are party in this lawsuit that are going to face the consequences? Sure, Elise, thanks for the question. You'll see that over 30 individuals are listed, and I don't really want to identify one over the other. The simple fact is, in a conspiracy, all are liable for each other's acts. There is no doubt that there was planning and coordination. The camera does not blink. The video doesn't lie. These guys have earpieces like I have, like you have in your ears. They're talking and communicating. Thank you for putting that video up. And there was a coordinated attack. And that's why we're suing. Because as Joe knows, basic in law, when you violate the law and commit a serious crime, prosecutors must hold you accountable. We have to do that in order to deter those who would do this again. And you better believe they will do it again unless we stop them. Here, here, John Heilman. Yeah, Mr. Attorney General, you just got to the question that I wanted to ask you about, which is how is that, you know, a lawsuit like this is, is partly about accountability, but also partly about deterrence. And I want you to talk a little bit about that and whether you think that in the process of doing the kind of investigative work you've done, you're, you, you've both identified networks that are still in place and that pose a threat to the future, and whether by taking this action you might have the effect of not just deterring those things in the future, but potentially having some kind of effect on breaking up some of those networks, or at least being able to identify them in a way that other law enforcement will be able to keep an eye on them in the future. I think that is an exceptional question, and there is no doubt through a civil process that we'll be able to get a lot of discovery, find out who is who and who knows who and who is funding who. And there's reporting today, and I think it's from your outlet, that makes clear that both the Proud Boys and Oath Keepers are moving on to other issues, including what? Trying to influence school boards. They're playing the race game. They're playing the hate game. They're playing politics in order to try to divide Americans away from what unites us. Unfortunately, we live in a world where it's easy to divide. We had a president in chief who was the divider in chief. What this lawsuit seeks to do is put a lie to the reasons for division and to start bringing people back together. Wow. Attorney General in the District of Columbia, thank Carl you. Racine, thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.